Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Forge in Minecraft 1.16.4. We're going to go over every single step of getting Forge from where to download it from, to how to set it up in game, and then after this video you have another video that you can watch on how to add mods to Forge, so be sure to subscribe for that and check it out once the video is done. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Forge. However, we have a our sponsor first, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex, to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS pack in Minecraft server up and running, whether you want to run Forge and play Forge mods, whether you want to play mod packs like Sky Factory, Stoneblock, FTB mod packs, Technic mod packs, they have over 130 mod packs on Apex with one click setup, and on top of that, if you want to add plugins, things like that to your server, you can do that quickly and easily at Apex as well. Apex is the only way to play Minecraft with your friends, so go check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, you get a Forge server up and running quickly and easily, or, you know, a vanilla server, any server you want in Minecraft at Apex can be done. But nevertheless, you're here to get Forge, so let's go ahead and do it. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below that's going to take you here this is our in-depth tutorial for getting forged a lot of people say I go too fast in these tutorials. I get it. So we have these text tutorials where you can kind of go through them at your own pace. However, once you're here, you want to click on this green download forge button. And then take us off to Forge's official website, where we want to make sure Minecraft 1.16.4 is selected. As we see here, it says MC 1.16.3, so we need to click on the left-hand side and click on plus 1.16, and then click on 1.16.4. Then, once it says MC 1.16.4 here, we can come under Download Latest and click on the Installer button. That would then go ahead and take us off to Add Focus, where stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Do not click a single thing on this page. Wait seven seconds, and then a red skip button will appear in the top right. The only thing you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. Then, in the bottom left, when you click that red skip button, Forge will appear. Now, as long as it says Forge in the title, which ours does, we can go ahead and click Keep there. Now, on Mozilla Firefox, it'll pop in the center of your screen, and you'll need to save the file. Again, it's safe to save as long as it says Forge in the title. Now, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on our desktop, we do have Forge 1.16.4. Now, this is not our desktop. No worries. It's probably in your Downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, but it's probably in the bottom left of your screen. Just click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen, right like so, and then you want to go ahead and type in Downloads. You have this Downloads File Folder in Windows. Click on that, and in here you will be able to find Forge. You can go ahead and drag that to your desktop just for ease of use. Once Forge is on your desktop, we can go ahead and get it installed. Now, if your Forge file doesn't look like mine in the regards it doesn't have this like Java logo on it, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to fix that, but let's try to open it first. So to do that, go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, select Java, and click OK. However, if you don't have Java here, or if this Java file just doesn't look correct, you can go ahead and go to the description down below and download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, we need Forge for Minecraft mods, and Forge is modifying Minecraft, so we need the correct version of Java for that, and this makes sure that we do get it here. It's a quick and easy three-step process. However, that doesn't work all of the time. Sometimes, Java just doesn't link to the jar files you have on your computer. If that's the case, you want to come here and run the jar fix. So, basically, come in here, Go through this quick and easy three-step process, right like so. Run the jar fix, and you'll be good to go. So finally, once you've done that, we should be able to right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That will then go ahead and open up the mod system install for Forge here, where all we want to do is click on Install Client, and click OK. Now, Forge is going to install. It's that quick, that simple, and that easy to kind of get Forge installed and get the process of Forge installing kind of up and running right now could take a minute to install here and that's just because it's downloading and doing a lot of things if you do have any issues at this point it's because you've not played minecraft 1.16.4 before you need to go play minecraft 1.16.4 with like no mods or anything and by play i mean just open it up and get to the main menu and then close out of it and then you can install forge that's the only time i've ever seen any issues that if you get to this point you won't, you won't have any issues other than that, right? That's the only issue that I've ever seen at this point. So, as you can see, it does come up and say successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.16.4-Forge and a launcher and downloaded six libraries. Awesome. You might not say exactly that, but as long as it says successfully installed, you'll be good to go ahead and click OK. It'll then close out of Forge there. We can now go ahead and drag and drop Forge into our trash can, get rid of it. It doesn't need to be on our desktop anymore. However, I will say you might not be able to delete it until you open Minecraft and close it here in a minute. But now let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so. And then once we open up the Minecraft launcher here, in the bottom left, I have a Forge profile automatically selected. You may not. If that's the case, go ahead and click on this Forge, pro like this little arrow here, and then select the Forge profile. But if for whatever reason there still isn't a Forge profile, or if the Forge profile you have doesn't say 1.16.4-forge under it, 
no worries, we need to click installations. So once we click on the installations tab here, we can go ahead and click the plus new button. And now what we're gonna do is basically create a new profile for Forge. So we're gonna name this whatever we want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com though. Why well, I'm gonna name it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. We have 1.16.4 grief protected survival with our medieval survival survey having 30 custom quests and a player based economy and and our aquatic survival server, which is our other survival server, we have kind of two survival communities. The other one has a slash shop based economy and a truly amazing community over there with tons of custom features. So if you're looking for the best survival server out there, come play with us. And guess what? Skyblock on Breakdown Craft has a huge update coming. And if you're looking for an amazing, revolutionary Skyblock server, come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com because we have huge things coming for Breakdown Craft Skyblock. I cannot wait to see you online. Over 200 players online every single day. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click the uh, versions drop down here. And here we want to find release 1.16.4-forge. Right there it is for me. Release 1.16.4-forge is right there. You might have to scroll down to the very, very bottom. I've literally seen it all the way down here at the bottom of the versions list before so if it's not right there at the top for you you might have to scroll down until you find it but there it is for me right up here at the top now i'm going to go ahead and change the resolution you don't need to do that but uh we are creating a video after all and i want you all to be able to see once we get in game so it's kind of important that we do that if uh well we want you all to be able to see once we get in game so we're going to do that let's go ahead and click the green create button here and now down here at the bottom we do have play.breakdowncraft.com most importantly under that it says 1.16.4 forge we do want to go ahead and hover over that, and you can click the green play button. You can also go back to the play menu over here, click on the little drop down box. You're going to have the profile you created. It'll say 1.16.4 forge under it, right like so, and you can click play there as well. Either way works. You just want to make sure you're playing the profile you created and that it says 1.16.4 forge under it. So now Minecraft is going to open up with forge installed. Uh, right away, you can kind of see that this is happening, right? You can see that like Minecraft's opening up, we've got, you know, loading and all that stuff. Now, if you do have any issues in the loading process, that is most likely because you have old mods installed. And while most 1.16.3 mods are going to be compatible with 1.16.4 without any issues, like without any, you know, real updates needed, that's not 100% of the case. Especially if you have an older mod, like a 1.16.2 mod, that's not going to be compatible with 1.16.4. So it's a very, very important that you uninstall any mods before launching a new version of Forge. Then you can add them back in and test them as you go. But nevertheless, here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can see that Forge is in the bottom left. Forge is also in beta. If that's probably not going to be there, Forge isn't going to be in beta long for 1.16.4, but it does say that right now. Most importantly, though, you can set up against Forge if it's uh, in the bottom left. We also got this Mods tab here, and in here you will have Forge listed as well, truly showing that it is installed. Now, if we go ahead and jump into a single-player world, I guess, we can just create a 1.16.4 test world, right like so. And we'll go ahead and make that creative just because that's what I like to do. And we can create the world. So at this point, I'm just jumping in game just to show you that Forge is in fact working. I'll show you that, you know, once you get in game, you can hit F3 and it confirm that Forge is working. And then with that, you're done. I mean, at this point, you have Forge downloaded, you have it installed, and you probably want to know how to get mods on it. So go ahead and check out the eye at the top of your screen. And in the description down below, there's a link. And at the end of this video on your screen, there's a video on how to add mods to Minecraft 1.16.4. Nevertheless, once you are in game here, let me go ahead and get everything loaded up around us a little bit, get some of this lag to go away. Once you're in game, you can go ahead and hit F3. And up here in the top left, you'll be able to see that it's 1.16.4 Forge. That shows that it's working that you are actually paying a forge version of minecraft again that's just hitting f3 and it'll be there it's that simple but there you have it that is how you can download and install forge in minecraft 1.16.4 I, I i believe i said three but it, it's four it's 1.16.4 Th these versions change like so fast these days it's hard for me to keep up i apologize everyone if i have said 1.16.3 at any point this is all for 1.16.4 but nevertheless there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. For those of you that do like to know the seed, because this looks like a uh, kind of a cool world, there's the seed. I'm specifically eyeing this mountain over here. It looks really cool. But anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play.breakdowncraft.com. I cannot wait to see you online. Again, 1.16.4 Survival, custom skyblock, huge updates on the way. Come play with us. You will love it. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.